let's take a look at, at the Hologram Iron Man. Hey guys, it's me, Ho Superzoro. Thank you very much for tuning in. Look what I got! It's Hologram Iron Man, the next one in the Ursa Major Builder figure wave from Marvel Legends. This is Marvel's Iron Man, the Hologram Iron Man figure, and he's the new translucent looking Iron Man. I believe this is the one that we see in the comic books that helps Riri Williams when she first starts out and the holographic projection of Iron Man kind of guides her along her way. Now, if we turn the figure around, you can see that there's a nice, a nice uh, design shot there, which is awesome looking. And then on the back, there's an even better looking one. Look at that. With an awesome write-up which states, Ever the inventor, Tony Stark, takes flight in holographic form, a computer-generated avatar, and an enduring force for good. Awesome. Let's go ahead and break this bad guy out of the packaging. Now, a lot of people have been very dismissive of this figure um, and just called it a big blue mess and I've heard people call it a big blue lump of plastic. I'm not feeling that way about this one. I actually really like the design. I think this looks really awesome, almost Tron looking. Um, if you use this right in action figure photography and light it the right way, it could be a really cool holographic projection of the Iron Man suit, especially if you had a young Tony Stark working on the suit and had this as a holographic projection. Could look really cool. The, uh, the actual figure itself, yes, it is just a, it is just a, a big blue um, lump, so to speak, but it's very nice and articulated, and they've done a great job uh, actually designing it. Um, I actually like the way it looks. Now, normally, translucent plastic is known for being very uh, fragile, whereas this feels very sturdy and thick, and I don't feel like this could ever break on you. Um, the head is on a ball joint, so you can make it look up and down, left and right. The head does still pop off if you wanted to, if you wanted to replace it with another head. The arms do lift up, but that side hinge do also rotate. There's also rotation at the bicep, and double hinged elbows the hands are also on ball joints there is the little repulsive things in the hands should you wish to do that i'm not i'm not going to show that again because i've shown that in every video in this review line so far you can crunch him forwards and backwards and swivel at the waist his legs do lift out as well as forwards um quite far and then backwards there's double hinged knees on here as well which is nice no boot cut but the feet are on rocker and pivot so great points of articulation here now, I'm not sure if it's picking it up properly on the green green screen here, but, but this blue is very nice. I'm really liking the style of it. I'm not sure if it's looking a little bit turquoise at the moment on this camera. Um, now, he does come with the regular two open palm hands that every Iron Man comes with, and he does come with two dark blue repulsor blasts, which is nice. A little bit darker than the last two we had. Um, and then, of course, he does also come with the closed fisticuffed hands as well. Not sure what use these would be on this kind of a figure. I do like him stood with his hands out like that, as it almost feels like an Iron Man blueprint. Um, so I do like the look of this one. We do actually have a blue Tony Stark holographic head. Let me go and dig that out. I am so happy because it is the right shade of blue as well. This was the one we got with the AI Tony Stark from the previous wave. So let's go ahead and place that on this body and take a look. Oh yeah, how awesome does that look? I am really happy with that. That looks brilliant. I've put the the other other helmet in his handler, and I've put the new the blue head on that came with the previous figure. It's a slightly different shade of blue, but I think it works. Look at that head! Oh yes, I'm happy with that. That is a good head swap, and a good reason to own this figure. If you got the AI one last time that everyone was laughing at and saying it was rubbish, and you got this one, boom! Perfect combination. We are down to the final minute of this review, guys, and uh, I am going to keep that head on for now. But yes, I hope you guys have enjoyed this review. I've enjoyed making it for you. Um, if you want to see me show off the Repulsor Blasters and, the, and how he looks with him in the feet and hands and things like that, if you haven't seen that before, then check out my other reviews from this line. And uh, yeah, tune in for the next one. I'll have another review up real soon in these five-minute reviews. Hope you're enjoying this video, guys, and just thank you very much for watching. As always, I'm your host, Soup Sorrel, and I'll see you in the next video. But until then, may the Force be with you. Bye.